to work on our leadoff and then our, our, our running around the base. You're going to start by working your leadoffs, okay? At first base, we lead off against a hard three step lead. At second base, it's a hard five step lead. There's going to be many times at second base that if you don't take a hard five step lead, you're going to have to stop while the ball goes in front of you. I want you guys to expand that lead so the ball goes behind you. You'll get thrown out if you have to stop it. We want a good hard five step lead off the second base. At third base, you guys are going to do a three step lead, but we always delay that lead until the ball drops down. Okay? Because I want you guys in a running position attacking the plate. Okay. That's, a, that's a pretty good lead. Okay? And that's, what are you going to do if the catcher goes down? Oh, really? I'm going to tell you the right over there. Okay? You guys, don't stand up. When you accelerate, be in a sprinter stance and take off. I want your eyes on the ball. When the ball leaves the pitcher's hand, you guys need to watch the ball. Okay? That way we can watch the play of the ball. If the ball's going down and it looks like it's going to go into the dirt, we can extend our secondary lead and expect the ball to kick away. Okay? If you're not looking at the ball, you're never going to see that. A good base runner will pick up the flight of the ball right out of the pitcher's hand and see that it's going down, and they're just going to go. Okay? A good runner will see it from first base, a changeup coming out of the pitcher's hand, and they're going to take second base on the change. We still bases on changeup. And I don't care, by the way, if you start with your foot behind the bag or if you start in front of the bag. I don't care. As long as you're on time, we want, we want you guys to be on time as much as possible. We're going to leave it at uh, Maddie's when her heel comes up and when her arms at 12 o'clock. That was late. Be early. Now. Still late. You're late. Sooner. Now. You're late. Hey, and we're not skipping off the back. We are accelerating off the back. Come on, let's go. One. Go. Did you guys all see her slow down? It's because she turned a real sharp 90 degree turn. You can't do that. We don't have enough time for that. You get thrown out at home and everybody goes, oh, the outfit has got a great one. You made a great job. No, you got thrown out because you made a bad angle. We want to minimize the distance we're running. We want to make good straight lines and minimize the arc on that side. Four feet outside the base, so when we hit that corner, we can drop our inside shoulder and hit the inside corner of the base, okay? What foot you hit it with is not, doesn't make that much difference right now. Ideally, we want it to be your right foot, but we want you guys inside the bag, okay? are either throwing with your front side totally open and you're just like this. You have nothing behind your throw and you're probably gonna hurt your arm because you're dependent all on your shoulder, okay? You need to close your front side a little bit more and your arm, your hand needs to lead your throw over the top this way, okay? And not your elbow. Some of you are down here, okay? Okay, we need to be better about keeping our arm at a 90 degree angle, okay? I want you to get the ball up and let your hand lead and stay here, okay? You should be over the top. A lot of people have a floating right foot. You throw and you do that, okay? Drive, use your legs and drive through the ball and follow through, okay? So if the ball is thrown right at me, why wouldn't I just do that with my right foot and throw? Because if I step with my left, I have to take another step and do the same thing, but delayed. Step with your right foot, righties, okay? And pivot and throw. Watch how she receives the ball, okay? Her face is gonna go to the ball, okay? My face is gonna go with my glove, okay? I'm not gonna do this and then bring it all the way back. I'm gonna step to it with my right foot and I'm gonna throw it from over there, okay?
you to be in here for a short hop on your forehand side. See how her elbow's inside of her knee as well? Let's try it. See her glove angle? It stays the same the whole time. But her fingers don't push up underneath the ball. Okay, if it's a little longer hop, she just elevates her glove, but her fingers stay back. Let's try it. How many of you have been taught how to hop? Okay, what's the point of popping, do you think? More balance. Okay, my body's in equilibrium and my weight is evenly distributed when I hop because my, my, I'm balanced. So if the ball is hit to my left and my right, I can react pretty much evenly. Okay, versus being here in my ready position. I'm always going to favor one side. Okay, if I hop, my body is in equilibrium. I can easily go either way. When are you supposed to land at the point of contact? Okay. When the batter would be making contact with the ball is when your feet should be landing. <laughs> be athletic, okay? Hop and be down in ready position. Have quick feet, let's play catch here. Is having my weight on my heels ever good in sports? No. Is it ever good in anything? Okay, now my weight is going towards the front part of my feet. Now I'm an athlete. I want you to pretend that you are, that you are about to play defense and basketball. Stay right there. Everybody watch me, don't move, stay there. I want you to pretend you're picking up a bat. You're gonna go right into your setup. And now I want you to have some dance in your stance. Dance in your stance. Knees are flipped. Body lean in, imaginary back, dance in my stand. Yes. And we, we, we keep 40 people on a team because some people didn't you know, have to keep 40 because we lose like, at least 20 people on a team. Did you guys know I was joking? No. 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 You thought I was serious? Any of you guys are welcome to, to um, if anybody ever has the wherewithal to be able to spend a weekend in California, I would take any of your kids and they'd come out and I'd, 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 I'd grind on them for a little bit. Um, they can practice with our teams, I would throw them right in. Um, you want to know if your kid can pitch? Let's have her spend a weekend. I'll have her pitch against the Corona Angels and the Choppers and the, and, and the Firecrackers for a weekend. And, and then you can find out why the bar is up here. 